Hi, I'm Sebastian. Um, I'm an art history major here at Davidson, and I was one of the interns working with the Van Every Smith Galleries this summer um, who helped curate some of the art that you see around campus today. Um, I'm standing in the Cunningham Theater building in front of my major project for the summer, which is the student curated exhibition called Image and Icon, a selection of Polaroids by Andy Warhol. Just to touch on briefly the origins of this exhibition, um, it came together really with three events in mind. The first of which happened several years ago when Davidson was the recipient of an incredibly generous donation from the Andy Warhol Foundation, who at the time had gone on a spree of donations, handing out works to institutions of higher learning and art museums all over the country with the intention and the interest in just getting the artist, the master, out there. Um, and the stipulation that the arts be presented within five years of the institution receiving them. And so this is, in a sense, a fulfillment of that request, but at the same time has come together with, a cu with, with two other imminent events in mind, the first of which in the art department, um, the exhibition True Likeness, co-curated by Tom Stanley and New Leah Newman, which is a presentation of contemporary portraiture and something certainly not to miss. Um, but really the driving event in mind was as we are here in Cunningham, the theater, the theater team's um, imminent production of She Kills Monsters. And I pulled a lot of the themes, as I'll talk about, from that show. Just to dive into the selection process a little bit, I'll talk about two of Warhol's portraits, which really sit on either end of the spectrum that I'm trying to represent here. First is the portrait of Jerry Hall, um, a fashion celebrity, a model, um, Warhol caught her in 1984 at the same time that he photographed Diane von Furstenberg. Um, but both fashion celebrities are presented in incredibly different ways. Um, the former conveys conventional beauty standards and plays in traditional gender roles, um, while the latter presents more ambiguously. It's a similar dichotomy that we see in Chiu Wen's play. And the works in the exhibition generally sit on either side um, of that spectrum.